All right, guys, Alexis versus the 300L on the trails. From clean title to salvage title in 10 minutes. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, I'm not looking forward to this. Yeah, these tires suck. Oh, you're gonna like the seat height, though. Yeah, I, I just sat on it. I was like, oh my God, I can touch. At least it's not too muddy. It's a nice day. Get you on a real bike. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna be everywhere on this thing. I don't like the sound of it. Oh, I'm a four stroke hater now. Oh my gosh, though, sitting down, this suspension is like a sofa. Wow, I think the seat is just much nicer. It's just a wide seat on this bike. He's back in his element, guys. All right, I'm standing, I'm standing. Oh, okay. Oh God, holy cow. This rear brake, I'm not used to. Not bad, guys, not bad. I'm digging it. It is a beautiful day. Perfect weather. Oh, we got people waiting for me. This is like sand though, so I'm like, this is probably the worst tires to be on. Oh God, though, jumping this thing is just feels sketchy. Oh my God. My foot keeps accidentally hitting the rear brake. Oh my God, this, I just, I don't know. So what was actually happening is the 300L has been laid down several times now and the brake lever was bent out a little bit. So it's really close to the foot peg. So when standing up, if you lean forward at all, you're gonna hit the brake. So it wasn't anything to do with the 300L. She just didn't realize that. Uh oh, I hear Tanner. <laughs> oh God, a little hill climb for you. Ooh, and a big divot. I'm gonna stall it! <laughs> Damn, it's kinda hard to stall, guys. Oh. Ah! These tires suck. I don't know, it's kinda nice riding something different just to like keep your skills sharp. <laughs> This is so weird. Oh gosh, okay. Sorry, I'm like not talking a whole lot because I'm so focused. <laughs> Overall though, I mean, I like the bike. It does great off-road. I mean, not that I've done anything like super gnarly with it. I'm definitely like very, very mellow right now, as I usually am. I can touch though. What? Bike. Not really. <laughs> it's comfy though. Yeah, it is. And like the suspension's way different. It's good on trails like this. It is. You back in your element? No. No? I used to. You look like it. The controls are too low. Oh. I love that stuff. Ready? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't need to be in fourth. Definitely am not going through the mud on these things. Oh god. he says don't follow Alexis he always follows me <laughs> holy soup <laughs> what the f I what this is. hell no I want my tires back <laughs> okay here we go oh god <laughs> Whew. Not too bad. I tried to take it easy. This standing 
position's comfortable for sure. Like I don't notice it being any different than the, my KTM really. Although Tanner said he noticed it. He's on my KTM and he says he doesn't like the positions on that, but I don't really notice a difference. Maybe if I get back on that and stand on that immediately then I would, but let's do this. Yeah. Woohoo! I will say this sounds like it's gonna fall apart on when I go up it because I think the rack is like smacking. <sighs> For some reason she seemed to like third gear on this bike so that's what she means by the noise. The thing is just trying to stay running, which is actually a kind of a, uh, a win for the 300L. It did not stall. She pretty much lugged the bike throughout this entire video and it just kept going. But yeah, first or second gear for sure with the factory gearing. I know how some of you are with the comments, so I just wanted to address that. It wasn't anything to do with the bike. She's just not familiar with it. And it's not like her two stroke where you can keep it in third gear and just lug everywhere. And it's just a different machine with different characteristics. tires for this <laughs> Whew, back on this girl Okay, riding position now that I'm standing on this. I feel like this sits lower, honestly. Like, maybe bar risers would be nice. I know I've talked about it in the past, but it might help me not feel so slouched over because I do feel like I have to stand a lot taller. But I like the bike, it's great. Well, as I was saying, <laughs> I like the bike. I think it's great. It is a wonderful dual sport and for these trails. It's great. It's comfortable Definitely comfortable Great, great. As a chick, it's a pretty good bike You can touch I'm five foot Very manageable and the power is like super smooth manageable Piles. Ah! <laughs> Go ahead. His <laughs> chain. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. I won't be able to keep up with him, guys, but I thought I could maybe get some clips of him riding. <laughs> Dang! Damn, boy! We got stunt rider Tanner out here. The first ever trail stunter. I wonder if that's a thing. <laughs> that was actually pretty good timing because he can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I will say it feels, took me a little bit, well it still is taking me some time to get used to it. It's been probably, oh god, maybe even 4th of July since I rode. Um, it's been a long time and felt a little, a little cold, a little rusty this morning, so. I definitely do sometimes hop on this thing and I'm like, I, I don't know how I ride this. Like I literally don't know how I do it. All the leaves, yeah. I did this? I think I could have done it. 
I think you're good too. You want to try it? I don't know. Now that it's been rutted up. That line that I just took is fine. I'd say go for it. What's the worst that happened? You After I see drop you it over. Fresh. You oh, got to show them up. Huh? I think I'm going to pee. Just go. Let go. Let's go, Brandon. Stompede. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I could do it again. <laughs> this the first part was worse than the second. <laughs> That's the only part that I like. I hate that I can't do by myself quite yet. Is sometimes I can. The last ride we did, I was better at it. Is just getting my bike turned around, like on a hill. It depends on how it lands. If it lands a certain way that I can't like physically pick it up myself, it sucks. I think we're gonna give the FE250 a shot. He's got a good cheater tire on here, so I don't think it'll be much of an issue. It's all about tires, man. Tires, traction, the clutch. The clutch is the biggest thing. The only thing I noticed is this thing is definitely a little boggy. Like second gear up that hill climb, it was kind of struggling a little bit until it got into the power band. Now he bought this used, but I imagine it has the stock ECU. Most people who, you know, change anything with the ECU have an exhaust, so I would assume that this thing is completely stock. And it is the dual sport model, so it is the uh, 250S. As you can see, it's got the threads here for the mirrors. And what's weird, don't take my word for it, MJ told me this, but the trail models do not come stock with a fan, and the street versions do. I guess that makes sense if you're sitting in traffic, but still. I gotta have a fan on all my bikes. That's the last thing you want to worry about, overheating, especially in these dusty conditions when your radiator gets clogged. He said try and cross the log. God damn, that would be fun as hell. Absolutely not. It would snap in two. Fucking nano bar straight down first. Yeah. Well, if you go straight across and then really off of it and then land. If that log on the other side wasn't there, I'd love to try it. Oh my god, you're done. I'll tell you what, I'll take a little bit of dust over the mud though. So far, it's been a really good day. We just played around at the hill climb for a little bit and we're making our way towards Monday Creek so we can get some food. Your boy's starving. Still on that intermittent fasting, so that'll be the first meal. Josh needs to tighten his damn chain. Oh, you're good. I'm gonna turn it around. Yeah.
We got the old 150F ping. Let's get it. When in doubt, man. On to pride. <laughs> Probably. Holy shit! Hey, you got all the traction now. Let go of the clutch. Oh my god, that poor rear shock. That fucking GoPro mount was up my ass. <laughs> You're doing a wheelie. Bicycle mode is the best. I cannot wait to do some downhill mountain biking. So much fun. Oh, I love this little section here. We're going to do it in bike mode. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, boy! Well, we finally made it to Monday Creek, the crystal clear waters, clearest in America. You can access this beautiful, naturally filtered spring from the Monday Creek Trailhead. Ooh hey, you want to swap out? I think we need to line the 300L up with this thing. Go ahead! Well, I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned for the next one where we line up the KLX 300R versus the 300L. How do you think that's gonna go? It went exactly how I expected it to, but I think some of you will be surprised on how close it actually was. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the 300L trail ride from somebody else's perspective, that of a short girl. Alexis weighs like a whopping 100 pounds and is five foot tall. So if any of you out there are wondering whether or not you can ride the bike, if you're a shorter guy or girl, it can be done. You just gotta get the seat time in, get the experience, plan out where you're going to stop. Don't let height be a determining factor. The 300L is a very beginner friendly bike. It's got a pretty low seat height and Alexis was able to touch just fine. She could actually tippy toe on both sides, which she cannot do on the KTM. So if you have any other questions about the 300L or anything else in this video, feel free to drop a comment down below. But like I said, make sure you have those notifications on. Stay tuned for the next video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Lots of good stuff coming soon. But until then, we'll see you in the next one.